Okay, today we are going to demonstrate auto track vision using the camera system on this R4038. Some of the advantages of it is when you're going down the road and you run over 90 corn plants in one second. And in those 90 corn plants, it can actually reduce your uh, bushels by over two bushel an acre. So if you did that once per acre, it's a technology that can more than pay for itself. All right, compatibility for auto track vision is most 30 series sprayers it is not compatible with 4930 and almost all R series sprayers. Uh, it is compatible with a Gen 3 2630 monitor and also the latest software on the Gen 4 4640 and 4600 displays. Okay. So the first thing we're going to show you here is how to calibrate the auto track vision system. So if you press the guidance button at the bottom, then you press the setup button up here, and then you've got row sense. So then you turn that on, click on row sense status, and then you press the calibrate button once everything here is green. Then we can begin a calibration. So, vision installed, machine and standing crop, parallel to crop, and uh, wheels in the middle of the row. Next, put in your camera height and the row spacing. And then it is going to read the information and use the vision camera to see the green uh, reflectivity of the crop. And now, as you can see, this is the vision sensor okay number one up here looks to be right in the middle of the row number two down here looks to be off a little bit so i'm just going to press the button to kind of move it over a little bit you can kind of see how that centered it up and that is ready to roll we're going to hit next it is processing that information and then it is going to suggest to me that we go ahead and drive for probably about three or four hundred feet Okay, so now we're gonna drive, all right? Keeping in the middle of the row, you will see the status bar as it continues to progress. Obviously trying to stay in the middle of the row as much as possible. And now the calibration is complete. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to hit OK. Now we just need to go ahead and get out of the calibration procedure. Okay. And then we have to turn our auto track on. And we will exit out of this and we will watch our camera. And here is our vision camera and it is ready to roll with those statuses. And I'm gonna go ahead and go and resume auto track. Now that we're done with the calibration, I'm gonna exit out of this. Make sure my auto track is enabled. And then I'm gonna drive forward and watch the video screen there. Status is right there. Resume auto track. Press it twice sometimes, and now it's engaged.